All right, big breaking news that we're getting in at this point of time. The rail fare hike has been partially rolled back. There will be no increase in the second class rail fares up to 80 kilometers. Well, it is a big relief for local commuters. Shiv Sena had been leading the charge for the rollback lobby within the government with an eye on the forthcoming state election. The latest that we can confirm for our viewers is that there has been a rollback. Uh, uh, indications of that were given today by... Maharashtra BJP leader Vinod Tawre, where he tweeted and said that he had met the railway minister Sadanand Gowda and there were indications that the fares might be lowered. Uh, we will get an update on that from our Mumbai Bureau Chief Sahil Joshi, who is joining us live. But for the modalities of this rollback, I would like to cut across to Ankit Tyagi on the phone line with us. Ankit, can you get us up to speed on what exactly are the fares that have been rolled back? Well, uh, so partial uh, rollback as far as the fares are concerned. Uh, in fact, 14.2% uh, was the hike that uh, the Indian Railways uh, had announced uh, just a few days back. Now what has been decided is that for the local commuters, especially this will be a big relief for the suburban commuters uh, in Mumbai, also in uh, Delhi and uh, other areas, up to 80 kilometers, uh, there would be no increase uh, in the fare. Uh, this will of course affect uh, lakhs of uh, local commuters, those who use uh, the EMU services of uh, the railways uh, for uh, daily uh, commuting to work and uh, to other places. So this is a big relief uh, for a large section of people. There has been, uh, the government has been under pressure, in fact, uh, uh, from their allies uh, in uh, Maharashtra and also there have been constant uh, protests against the increase uh, of the fare in the Indian railways. The BJP government so far has been saying that it is something that they had to do. They were left with no options because this was something that the previous government had done. Now it seems that the government uh, has uh, gone into a rethink mode and mm -hmm. uh, the, they have uh, in fact announced that there would be no increase in the fare for the second class suburban ordinary uh, 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 travel up to 80 kilometers. Ankit, what's the difference between this and the last government there? Uh, because it might be good for the commuters here but ultimately the railway does need a massive increase in fare hike to actually pull itself from the shambles that it is in today. Absolutely. Uh, there has been uh, a lot of talk about uh, the money that the railway requires for the updation. There have been a lot of talk for uh, money for safety in Indian railways and increase of uh, facilities. That is something, argument that the government have, our successive governments have given. But of course, uh, there is a railway, the ordinary citizens use railway and they are a huge uh, uh, political, uh, 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 that, that's a huge political uh, section uh, uh, that affects the votes for a lot mm -hmm. of parties. Uh, with eyes on Maharashtra, exactly. especially for the upcoming uh, polls, it seems that the government has decided that they want to give some relief to the middle class, those who are using uh, the suburban railway. And I'd like to put that question to Sahil Joshi, a Mumbai bureau chief who's joining us at this point of time. Sahil, indications were already given today morning by Vinod Tawre, where he tweeted and said that he had met the railway minister Sadanand Gowda and a rollback was in order. And all of that now coming full circle and it seems with an eye on the forthcoming state elections. First of all, uh, there was uh, quite a UN cry about uh, the whole price hike in in Mumbai, which actually started by Shiv Sena because uh, the local company, uh, compulsion says uh, Shiv Sena BJP are going to face uh, uh, voters here in just uh, four to five months, and uh, the kind of uh, uh, euphoria happened uh, during the campaign of, uh, uh, of Lok Sabha elections and actually uh, the 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 coin which was used. Uh, to get votes in Mumbai and uh, areas around uh, in MMRD region, which actually consists of around 60 assembly seats, uh, which are very crucial for Shiv Sena BJP. Uh, they, they were worried that those seats will directly get affected because of this fair hike. And especially in case of Mumbai, what happened is that 14.2% fair hike which happened all across India in Mumbai, the season ticket, the season passes, monthly and six monthly passes, uh, their cost got doubled because uh, as per new circular in railway, uh, the, the rounds which earlier they used to count only 15 rounds, uh, because of the new fare hike, they started counting 30 rounds. So now what has happened is that railway has gone back to counting mm -hmm. 15 rounds, that is the original rounds. So now only 14.2% uh, uh, price hike will happen even in local trains as well, right. which earlier had happened around uh, the, the, the cost of the passes had gone to double uh, the amount. Uh, that is the 90 rupees pass uh, people were, uh, would be getting at around 180 rupees okay. from 25th June. Now there will be only 14.2% hike. So uh, uh, managed to low down the whole burden okay. on... Uh, the local train season tickets. All right, well, it's good for commuters, but the narrative of old politics uh, continuing here as well, where the government saying that there would be a massive increase in railway fare hike, which could have led to maybe the upgradation of a system that is crumbling at present. Well, that is not to be partial 
roll back their uh, we'll keep getting our viewers the latest Sankit Tyagi reporting on the railway ministry thank you for joining us as well as our Mumbai bureau chief Sahil Joshi